Good morning, friends. I wanted to share with you for a couple of minutes this morning and thanking you for your prayers, for the grace of God and his mercy. As you probably heard, I went into surgery on Monday. Uh, they took out a tumor, uh, which is about an inch square in a portion of my stomach. So um, the operation went well, took a little over an hour. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, they had a tube in me to suction the food out of my stomach. So I was fed intravenously. And then uh, on Thursday, they took the tube out and the big test was, was my plumbing still working? And when my plumbing was still working, they sent me home on Friday. So thank the Lord. Uh, two weeks, I go back and get the staples removed from the inside of my stomach. My stomach's smaller. And right now I'm eating a lot of, I should say I'm eating some, uh, pudding, um, you know, mashed up egg, things like that, jello. I want to mention three verses the Lord gave me. The Lord is so merciful. First from Psalm 103, the Lord knows our frame. He's mindful, but we are but dust. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. In this life, our body is dust to dust. That's the way it is. And we have the years God gives us. I was thinking about how both of our good presidents uh, in the 20th century, um, Eisenhower and Reagan. Both had major health glitches in their president. Eisenhower with a stroke and a heart attack, Reagan with the assassination, and of course the uh, cancer, uh, colon cancer. But both came through, both served their eight years and set the country on a good course. So, so we have health glitches, but things are in God's hands. He knows our frame. He's mindful, we are but dust. Second verse comes from Psalm 91. It's a psalm I pray every day. It's a great psalm to memorize, a psalm of protection. He will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They'll bear you up in their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. They'll tread upon the lion and the cobra, even the young lion and serpent you trample down. Because he's loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high because he's known my name. He'll call upon me and I'll answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I'll rescue him and honor him with a long life. I will satisfy him. Let him behold my salvation. I thank God for rescuing me through your prayers when I was in trouble. And then Joshua chapter one and verse nine, have I not commanded you? Do not tremble or be dismayed, be strong and courageous. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Favorite verse of my seminary dean, Glenn O'Neill. It's a verse to remember wherever you go when you're uh, being, being put down to to under an anesthesia in an operating room or spending a time with your grandkids. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hope you feel a great sense, dear North Modesto Church of God, the Lord's with you today. Thank you, thank you so much for your prayers for me. I'll be updating you, be able to talk a little more clearly and, and get my energy back. But keep me in your prayers, keep my wife Paul in your prayers, and, and we just thank the Lord for the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting. His mercy to a thousand generations. God bless you.